Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing The Wizard by BG. And this is a bag I had planned to review for a while now. In fact, I, I, have, I have an older set of the 21-22 stamped wizards I was going to review, and then I found out they came up with the new 23 wizards, and they had changed the template size. So I didn't want to review a bag that was not the same as the new ones. So I had to wait till I got my hands on the new ones. I finally got them. Uh, I was a little concerned because I love the 21-22 uh, bags. I wasn't sure I was going to like the bigger template of the 23. So let's go ahead and dive in, break this bag down, I'll let you know if I like it or not, and my thoughts compared to the older bag. So we'll start with the materials on this wizard. Slow side is the herringbone carpet. This is really, I don't know if the wizard was the first bag to really to, to come out with this material, but I feel like the wizard was the first bag to really make this material pop. Like when I think of the herringbone carpet, I immediately think of the wizard. That That's what I associate it to. Uh, it, it's a, it's, I'm gonna call it a five speed material. It's a very, it's a material you can manipulate. I've talked about it from time to time again when I, when I talk about this material, but you can really rough this up, dirty it up, and you can slow it way down. It's like a three and a half, four speed. You keep it really clean, you'll play closer to a six speed. But generally for most conditions and after I've thrown for a while, they typically play about a five speed. So I'm gonna call this a five speed material on the slow side. Fast side, this is the game changer, surefire fast side. It's that eight speed material, eight and a half speed, you know, kind of eight, eight and a half. It's a fast, but somewhat controllable material. It'll slide up any board conditions, push or anything. This is a wonderful bag for like humid conditions because both these materials move in humidity. So you can keep playing it if you play in a humid environment. Um, template wise, this is the, I always say this is the main change from the old wizards to the new wizards. This is, this is, I'm gonna call this a medium template. It's closer to a medium template. You know, the older wizard here, which I got here was definitely on a smaller side. I don't know if I can really show you. It's not a big difference, right? It's, it's not a big difference. There's a slight difference here. And we're, maybe we're talking an eighth of an inch. I don't even know. If, I don't even think it's quite a quarter inch, maybe an eighth of an inch difference. But when you're talking about, you know, the, the, from the smallest bag to the largest bag is only a half an inch range that, that the ACL allows bag makers to make it. And so an eighth of an inch is a pretty substantial difference in size. Now I will say, Throwing this bag, I could tell right away that it was a little bit larger template than that one, um, but it's not any it's not any less full. This is a very full bag. Like you can see, there's not, I mean, there's not a lot of flop here. It's a it's a full bag, which is what I was afraid of. I was afraid when they went to the larger template, the bag was going to be a little bit looser, a little floppier. And and to me, the, what I loved about the Wizard was the fullness. I think the fullness, the, the it's a it's a puffier bag, is what allows the bag to be as playable and as controllable as what it is. And I'll get into that in playability here in a moment. Um, but it's still this, this new one, it's still a very full bag. So I was very pleased to see they didn't change that. Now the fill in here, I feel like it's the same fill they used before. Obviously they've had to change a few things because to make the bag bigger and to keep it the same fullness, they have to add some more filler beats somewhere in there. So there's, there's definitely a little bit of difference in here, but as far as the feel of the fill and the way the fill plays, it, it reminds me so much of the old bags that I'm not, I'm gonna say it's basically the same. Uh, the bag has a wonderful hand feel too. Like if you, if you like a full bag, which to me for hand feel, like the full bags are the greatest for hand feel. They just, it just feels really nice and soft. You get a really good grip on it. Uh, I will say this fill does lead to a bouncier bag. This bag has a lot of balance, a lot of movement to it. So if you don't throw a flat bag, it's, it will kick on you. Uh, if you're, if you're, if your bag has some forward backward tilt to it, it's going to hop and it's going to bounce. It's going to want to tumble. It's going to want to roll. It's got a lot of movement to it. So you just got to be, be aware of that. Um, if you're not used to it, it will punish you. So, so to speak, but anyway, we'll go ahead and jump into playability. I'm talking about that. And, and, and first of all, this material is a wonderful material for, and it's very versatile, right? I, I, I that's why you see this material a lot. A lot of bags are coming as material because there's so much you can do with. And I talked about how much you can manipulate it to get the speeds where you want to, but you can also play, you can, you can throw a dirty style game with this. You can throw blockers up there. This bag is wonderful for putting blockers up there. Uh, it, it's, it's not, it's not a big bag. So it's not going to take up a ton of space, but it does a decent job for a blocker. It's a, it's a full enough bag, very easy to collect, right? You just clip it, it goes in. Now I will say in collectability, I've mentioned before on bouncier bags, you have to be careful when you're trying to collect with this wizard because of the bounce. If you come in and you land and you don't, if you land, if you don't land close enough to the bag, but not far away, the bag will hit. It wants to bounce, skip over. You can kind of miss your collect because the, the bag has it hopped to it. So you have to be careful when you're throwing. Either land right behind the bag and almost on top of it and you collect it or lay it back further and let the bag hit. Let it kind of bounce and settle out and slide up and take it through. But it, it is a very collectible bag. Like, you know, you can clip a corner. You don't have to get crazy aggressive. You can definitely collect the bag because of the fullness on it. Uh, 
the bag is also uh, very, it, 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 the bag is very easy to shape shots with. You can throw cuts with this. You can roll it. You can flop it. This, this bouncy feel, this bag just has a ton of movement to it. It wants to, it wants to move. And, and uh, you just, it doesn't take much of a tilt to get a cut on it. it. doesn't take much of a load front or back load to get that roll or that flop, whatever you're looking for there. So it's a very, it's a very, it's a bag you could definitely shape shots with. Very controllable bag. You can just do what you want to this bag, which is why I think this bag is, is very popular. In fact, when I see pro players, the, the ACL pro players, from BG bags, I think most of them throw the wizard. The wizard is probably the most popular BG bag among pro players, and I think it's because of the control you have. You can just ma you can make this bag do pretty much what you want to with it. Uh, now the knocks on this bag, and I talked about the the kick on it. I talked about the bounce on it. This bag is not that hole friendly. This is not. I mean, as far in terms of 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 hole friendly bags, this is on the very low end scale. It want it just wants to hang on the hole. So you, it, and it's not a very forgiving bag because it's full. If you miss left to right, the bag is going to want to kind of slide right by. It's not going to want to grip the hole and spin around very often. Also, with the bounce, if you lay in too deep on the board, the bag wants to kind of hop over the hole. You know, if if you're if you're not careful, I talk about pushing, and I had it happen a time or two, and I went to push, I landed not exactly right, or I hit the bag too much, and then if I have too much of a tilt, this push bag wants to flip over into the backs of the hole. So this bag will punish you around the hole. It will punish you. It's not as forgiving as some other bags will be, but that trade-off what you gain is the controllability of the bag and what you the things you can do with this bag to get it to the hole that the times it's left hand on the hole i think you've made up for it or it balances out with the other ways that you had other creative ways you have getting bags in the hole to me where this bag shines this is this is where i like to throw a wizard is when i'm playing this opponent who's thrown a dirty style back it's fun a dirty style game throwing a sticky bag i know they're gonna put blockers up there i know they're gonna cause a lot of congestion from the hole i want to bat at the wizard because this bag is I can put my bags in the hole and leave their bags, not have to go through. I can cut around their bag. I can roll. I can flop over. I can do all kinds of ways to get my bag in the hole, leave their blockers there, make them work to collect their bags, or make them pay for throwing blockers they don't collect, and I can still get points. That's where I think this bag shines. This is also a wonderful bag for faster boards, for sliding the hole if you want to go hole for hole. But if you just want to play a hole for hole style game and you're not looking to roll or flop or cut, I feel like something like the Sorcerer is a better bag if you want to go with BG. I think, I think it uses the same slow side. It's a, it's 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 going to be a little bit looser, a little floppier. It's not, not going to punish you as much with kicks and bounces as this will. I think that's a better option. There are other bags if you just want to go hole for hole. But if you're looking to do a kind of a variety, you know, hole for hole with a little bit of a dirty style game here or there, or you're a player who likes to throw cuts or rolls or flops, this Wizard is phenomenal. I actually love this bag. In fact, I was thinking, because this 2122 bag was one of my favorite BG bags out there. I absolutely love this. I was worried about the template chains, to be honest with you. I think they've made the wizard better. I actually like the larger template, even because it's just as full. And, and, and I think the larger template makes the bag a little bit better of a blocker. This small bag really wasn't that good of a blocker because it doesn't take up any space. So easy to run it. And it's very hard to collect if you, because you've got a, a smaller target to hit. This, this extra little bit of size gives you a little bit wider side to hit, a little bit easier target to hit. So you've got a little bit wider target coming at it and a little bit wider on the board. You actually have a little, you know, you're getting almost a quarter of an inch or more to, to collect this bag where you which, which you didn't have with the older bag. So I think the newer wizard, I, I haven't thrown this a lot, but right now, first impressions, this newer wizard is just a better bag. I really, really like this bag. If you're looking for a, a active bag and a bag to shape shots with, you've got to check the wizard out. I think you're going to fall in love with it just like I have. Now, availability, BG has a website. It's uh, bgcornhole.com. Be a link in the description for you guys on that. And their bags, they do a pretty good job of keeping wizards in stock. As they do new releases, new bags, sometimes they kind of sell it. But BG's done a great job of of their production and keeping bags in stock. You can usually go on now, certain colorways, certain designs sell out, especially if they come out with new releases or special releases, they'll sell out. But if you're looking for a set of wizards, you can go right now, you can find them. They're, they're, they, they have several different designs, colorways in stock that you can find. The bags run, it, I think it depends on designs and colorways, anywhere from like, I've seen it from like $95 up to $125. These in particular I got here, like right around 110, plus it's like $11 shipping on there. So they're, they're creeping up, they're kind of on that higher end. They're not up the same price as a Coral Scenario or an Ultra is on prices. Like those two come have just gone outrageous the prices but they're up there more like with that with the buffalo boards prices you know kind of that that 110 to 120 dollar price range is what you're looking at um if you like bg i think they're well worth it and i think this wizard's well worth it you know as 121 dollars shipped to me I, I i'm not upset i paid that for it i think it's worth it i i, I think you're, you're getting a high quality bag for it you're gonna love it this is a wonderful bag i highly recommend the wizard for those of you who like to control and shape shots this is this is what you're looking for you got to give it a try if you're on the wizard i'd love to hear your feedback like it dislike it i'd love to hear that um i just always love your guys's opinion on it. i thank you so much for the support and i thank you for watching